angels my name is ebony and in this video we're gonna talk about the significance of angel number zero zero so if you're seeing zeros double zeros a lot you look at the clock and it's nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock or you may be scrolling on social media you may see it on billboards you may see it on license tags and you're really trying to figure out what the message is for you I'm gonna let you know in this video First of all, the number zero represents wholeness. It represents eternity, infinity, oneness. It represents the God force. It's the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the highest. It's the energy of everything and it's also the energy of nothing. So it's a very powerful force. It's like when you see that number, the presence of God is near you. Like God is reaching down, just giving you a big old hug. And one thing I really like about zeros is they are so exponentially greater. It's like an exclamation point. I read that somewhere. It's like an exclamation point. But me personally, I always think like it's all about your vibration because it can really mean nothing. Like you have zero dollars, you have zero friends, you have zero whatever. Or it can be like... The icing on the cake, like add another zero to your bank account or add another zero to your paycheck or add another zero to your salary. You understand what I'm saying? So it's all about your perspective. Zeros are very powerful. Like add another zero, honey. Add another zero to that cash app. When I got my cash app with three zeros, and I don't know what it is about my cash app notifications that get people's panties in a bunch, but I love it because I receive all of my blessings and I welcome all forms of abundance. But when I got those zeros in my cash app, like I literally was screaming like... I had a headache. It's like my head was throbbing. And that's when I really understood how powerful like zeros are. Like add another zero to any number and you'll see how exponentially greater it is. So that shows you how powerful that number is. Zero also denotes freedom from our physical world. There are no personal restraints. Like, you're provided for. Everything is going to be okay. Like, you don't have to worry about. I think about the the affirmation, one of my favorite affirmations, especially when I'm going through challenging times or troubling times. I always say spiritual laws trump man laws because, you know, by man's point of view and by man's law, it shouldn't work out for you. And by man's law, this should happen, but spiritual laws trump man laws any day. So that number kind of represents that, that spiritual force that you have the power to manifest anything. So those are just some vibrations of the number zero period. When you see it doubled and tripled and quadrupled, those energies are magnified. So here's some messages that your angels may be trying to communicate to you when you see double zeros. When you see double zeros, it's a message from your angels that you have everything that you need. Everything is within. It's like inside of that perfect circle. Everything that you need is already inside of you. So it is a powerful, and it also represents the God force. So God is trying to get your attention. The universe is trying to get your attention. Your creator, your source is trying to get your attention about something of importance. You should be drawn closer to your spiritual side. It symbolizes eternity, unity, and oneness. Like we are all connected. We, there is no exclusion. There is no separation. Like we are all created from the same source. And because we are created by the same source, we are all connected. And when you see this number, you have a close connection to the divine. Like you are tapped into the spiritual realm. Your angels want you to focus on your intuition. They want you to focus on your connection to source. They want you to focus on what your mindset is, what your goals are, what your dreams are, what your purpose on this earth is. Like, focus on what you're here for. And one of the best ways for you to focus and connect to your source is through prayer and meditation. Prayer changes things. Meditation works. 
Okay, prayer is when you're talking to God, when you're talking to the universe, and meditation is when you're listening. You're sitting in silence. You're still. Your mind is still. And you are receptive to whatever messages that come to you because they are coming from the divine, but you have to learn how to pay attention, how to calm your mind, how to sit still, how to connect to your source. Prayer and meditation connects you to your source. And when you see this number, your angels are encouraging you to deepen your practice, deepen your meditation practice, stay connected, stay connected. Don't wake up to news broadcasts. You understand what I'm saying? Don't worry about what's going on in the outside world. You need to worry about what's going on within. And then you need to worry about what you're allowing to come into your aura, what you're allowing to permeate your vibe, your energy, your emotions, you know, your vibration, and make sure you're connected to source. Your angels also want you to pay attention to the signs that are around you. When you see this number, they're trying to communicate with you about something of importance. I don't know exactly what it is for you. You may know what it is, but you need to pay attention to the signs and the patterns that are coming to you because nothing comes to you by accident. Everything is coming to you for a reason. So you need to kind of pay attention and know what's going on around you. Double zeros also indicate that you may be in the beginning of a new spiritual journey. Okay, yeah, you may have grown up in the church. You may go to church and you may go to Bible study and you may have been doing this and you may have been doing that, but you may be embarking on a new spiritual journey and it may not be for everyone else to understand. It's something that will resonate with you. You need to discover your personal truths. You need to discover the secrets of the universe. You need to discover whatever there is out there, okay? The more that you learn, the more you'll realize it's so much more to learn. So this number is encouraging you to kind of silence your mind and not worry about what other people think about what you are doing in your life and really focus on what resonates with your mind, your body, your spirit, your energy, your flow, your vibration, you understand like you need to figure out what works for you and what feels good for you because you're embarking on a new spiritual journey. You may be going hugging trees now, you know what I'm saying? Like I love the beach. I go and walk up and down the beach, you know, and people close to me may think that it's so weird that I'll drive an hour and a half, but I will drive an hour and a half to connect to my source because I know that the guy that created the ocean created me, you know, the creator, the source that created all of these beautiful landmarks and these mountains and these lakes and these large bodies of water, they created me too. So that was a part of my spiritual journey that most people wouldn't do. You know, I'm not going to watch the news. I don't want to, I don't want to have fear-based energy interrupting my flow all day, every day. I don't know what's going on in the outside world. Unless somebody tells me, but I'm not having alerts on my phone. I'm not listening to the news. I don't care who got robbed and stabbed and who's cheating and who's doing that because it's low vibrating energies. And me personally, I wanted to elevate my vibration. That was a part of my spiritual journey. You may be embarking on a different spiritual journey. You may choose different foods. You may listen to different music. You may have different friends. Whatever happens... It's drawing you closer to your source. So you need to take heed to the energies that are being sent to you and pay attention to the signs and the patterns in your life. So being that you are embarking on this spiritual journey, you need to understand that the universe loves speed. When you know that you're getting divine messages from God, you need to act on it. I learned that by manifesting my trip to China. God is going to provide for you. The universe is going to provide for you. You need to act on any ideas that are divinely guided. Keep moving forward because the more you move towards your goals, the more you're going to be provided for. Doors are going to open for you. You're going to see that the way is already paved for you. So the universe loves speed. Act quickly. Do whatever it is that you are nudged to do. When you know you're divinely guided, keep moving forward. And you're going to see how many doors open up for you and how beautiful it is. Find your personal truth. See what works for you. Spend time in solitude. Maybe you need to take some time to spend by yourself. Maybe you want to spend the early parts of your day in meditation 
or in prayer or listening to binaurials or listening to motivational things or affirmations or whatever. I don't know, but you need to focus on being okay with being by yourself. You're never lonely if you like the person that you're with. So get to know yourself, get to love yourself, get to enjoy being by yourself. There's a great luxury in solitude. There's a great luxury in solitude. You'll learn so much about yourself that you're like, wow, I really don't like that. And that's really not all that. <laughs> you know, like once you once you start to be friends with yourself, then you'll realize how much angelic and divine presence is around you. And then you'll realize like, whoa, I'm special. Ooh, okay. <laughs> And being that zeros represents the God force, the divine presence, you are near a universal energy. You are near divine presence. And the universe is emphasizing a message to you. There is something that the universe is trying to communicate with you of heavy importance. It's something, it's great, it's major, it's important. You need to pay attention. Because the universe doesn't communicate through words. The universe communicates through, you know, signs and vibrations and energies. You know, animal totems, spirit animals, things like that. So you got to pay attention because it's not like it's just going to come knock on your door and say, hey, this is the universe and this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is God, this is what I'm trying to tell you. You got to pay attention. And you have to understand that this message is just for you. You have access to the impossible. When you see this number, you have access to the impossible. What people say that you're not going to be able to do, you are going to be able to do it. If you have the vision in your mind, it can manifest. Okay, you don't know how and it's not your job to figure out how, but seeing this number lets you know that it, it can happen. And if you see somebody else has done it before, you know you can definitely do it. And even if you haven't seen somebody else do it, if you see it in your mind, okay, if you have the vision in your mind, it can manifest, period. You have access to the impossible, especially if you're always seeing zeros. It can happen for you. You could be the one. They always say it's impossible till it's done, till you do it. So go ahead and do it. Put your trust in the unseen. Put your trust in, in God, the universe, your angels, your creator, your subconscious, your super conscious, your over soul. Put your, put your trust in the divine and watch how it works out. You're entering a new spiritual journey and it's going to be, you're going to be on your own. Maybe you have to step out the pack. OK, maybe you have to do things different than what your family is doing. Maybe you have to do things different from what the masses are doing. And you have to walk this journey alone as an individual. But this number lets you know that you're not alone. You're never alone. You always have goddess surrounding you. There's always beautiful things around you. You're always protected and divinely guided. But you may have to walk this journey by yourself. Not even may. You will have to walk this journey by yourself. There's not going to be one person that's going to go through this path, this thing called life with you forever. You came in by yourself. You're going to leave by yourself. Okay, so be all right with being by yourself. Be okay with walking this journey by yourself because you're going to be connected with like-minded individuals. But you have to always understand that it's only you. You got the power. It's your gift. You are the one that can make it manifest. You are the one who has the key to get your fortune, your riches. Like, it's you. Okay? And when you understand that, then you'll kind of start detaching from other people. You'll start detaching from the physical world. And then you will start to vibrate and resonate with the spiritual realm. The unseen. And that's the force, like, yo, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Double zero is also a sign of completion. Something is coming to an end. Something is coming full circle. Because you know the zero is a perfect circle. So a situation in your life is coming full circle. The relationship may come to an end. Your friendship may come to an end. Your job may come to an end. There may be a phase in your life that's come full circle. There may be a project that's done. 
There may be an addiction that's over with. There may be a lesson that you've already learned. The situation has come full circle. It's done. Welcome in the new changes. You're embarking on a new spiritual journey and be okay with it. The way you be okay, I cannot stress it enough. You have to develop a strong prayer life and you have to start to meditate. Okay, every single day you have to meditate, you have to calm your mind, you have to connect to your source, you got to charge up and you have to keep your energy high. You have to keep your energy high so that you can receive the messages that the universe is trying to send to you. I don't know exactly what it is for you in your particular situation, but I do know that you are divinely guided, you are protected, you have divine presence all over you. The presence, the spirit of God, the presence of God is all near you, all around you. Okay, so tune into that and receive your specific messages. So angels, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for always showering me with love. I cannot thank you enough. There are so many ways that you can pour into me and send me love. Anything that you pour into me comes back to you tenfold. It is not all financial. You do not have to spend a dime with me. You do not have to send me anything. You can put a heart in my comment. You can send a little prayer for me. You can send me love vibrationally. That is more than enough. Okay, I have everything I need and more. I'm so provided for. I'm well taken care of. I'm divinely guided. I'm protected. Okay, I lack nothing. So I'm not a beggar. I don't understand what it is <laughs> that has some people's pennies in a bunch. But let me tell you something. I'm provided for and I'm always going to show up whether you send me anything or not. Like I'm good. I'm provided for. I'm not a beggar. Okay. I have three books you can download. You can enroll in my mini courses. I welcome all forms of abundance and it's not all financial. So you can just, you literally can just put a heart in my comment. That is more than enough. I love you, angels. Leave me a comment and let me know what your experience with angel number 00 is. Until the next video.